Hai Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh Boleh someone komen Gambar ok? Suara ok? Boleh komen? Gambar ok? Suara ok? Untuk kita mula kelas Topik hari ini lah topik storage Saya menunggu komen daripada anda semua Gambar ok? Suara saya jelas? Hai hai Assalamualaikum Boleh komen suara ok Gambar ok Alright Ok thank you Farisa Yang lain mana? Baru 4 orang view Eh nak belajar tak nak kita ni Mana yang lain? Okey, boleh saya mulakan sekarang. Okay, hai Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh Anda bersama saya Saya Madam Mazal Muhammad Dan topik bagi CSC 134 Untuk hari ini adalah topik uh, Egg storage Ok kita akan continue yang kelas kita Ok So uh, video ni lah video recording So you guys akan dapat uh, Recording video Bagi topik 8 ini dalam Youtube Madam Mazal Muhammad Ok Dalam digital storage, apa yang kita going to learn? Please always refer to your nota. Okay, nota, powerpoint. Okay, yang pertama, kita should able to differentiate between storage and memory. Describe the characteristic of what we call uh, internal hard disk. Benefit of SSD, SSD solid state drive. Identif identify use of external hard disk. Alright, dan juga RAID. Alright, differentiate among various type of memory card dan juga USB flash drive. Alright, so this is all about storage, okay? Okay, so first, apa itu storage? Storage adalah physical material, alright, ataupun yang physical we can see which computer will keep the data, information, program dan juga application, alright? So, same goes to phone, kita ada uh, storage as well yang menyimpan data, information, program dan juga application, alright? Cloud storage keep information on server, on the internet and the actual media. Okay, saya kecikkan supaya kita boleh nampak. Okay, nampak ah? Right. So cloud storage keep the information the cloud server on the internet and the actual media on which the file is stored are transparent to the user. Alright, so that is cloud storage. It's also considered as storage sebab dia berada, kita use uh, internet access untuk place all the information seperti media, gambar dan sebagainya which is transparent to the user. Alright, so that is storage lagi. Alright, so storage device merupakan hardware which record and retrieve item daripada ataupun kepada that storage media. For example, kita boleh read dan juga kita boleh write. Read maksudnya kita boleh uh, get back the data. Reading is a process of transferring item from a storage medium into media, into memory. Alright. So, maksudnya adalah kita boleh read data. For example, uh, kita nak dapatkan data from pen drive. We can read the data, reading the data from pen drive. Pen drive adalah merupakan storage Alright, so uh, reading from storage and write into memory. 
Alright. So writing machine is process transferring item from memory right to the storage medium. Macam contoh kita nak save dekat pen drive. So we have to write from uh, memory to pen drive. So that is about storage. Alright, is a hardware. Alright, so this is a storage punya example. We can see from here, ia ada external hard disk, kita ada SSD, solid state drive, kita ada uh, memory card, alright, kita ada external in external hard disk. Alright, this is a hard disk HDD. Alright, this is internal. Then we have pen drive, kita ada cloud. Alright, kita ada any chip yang letak dekat card juga consider as storage sebab dia ada uh, information ROM dekat situ. Alright, so kita tengok seterusnya. Alright, capacity in the storage adalah berbeza. Alright, contoh, alright, kita ada beberapa term, alright, ataupun kita punya panggil capacity lah. Alright, it will keep uh, information dalam bentuk kilobyte, uh, megabyte, uh, gigabyte, terabyte. So, for example, today for the hard disk, kita ada data can keep up to terabyte. Alright, so it means that having uh, for terabyte, 1 trillion uh, bytes of data. Alright, ataupun dua kuasa empat puluh kat sini. Alright, so that is example of terabyte. So, kita ada terabyte, petabyte, hexabyte, zettabyte, yottabyte. Okay, that is all category. Dia bagi capacity. Alright, let's say kita punya hard disk today tadi kan. Mereka beritahu from giga to tera. Alright, kita punya pen drive adalah giga. Ada tak tera? Uh, Madam tak sure Sebab dah lama tak follow Biasanya kita ada uh, about giga right Giga something Alright so Item on a storage Medium remain intact Even when you turn off a computer or mobile device Alright so For example here Okay so this example adalah RAM Alright, so kalau kita in, uh, It means that Contoh kita on computer Alright, so this is what we call Volatility Volatile Kita Apa maksud volatile? Maksudnya Alright, this device Example adalah physical memory RAM Alright, this bersifat volatile Maksudnya bila kita turn on computer Turn on Turn off computer All the information inside RAM will be flushed will be removed. It will not long lasting. Alright. It berbeza dengan uh, this uh, hard disk. For example ataupun uh, kat sini adalah kita panggil uh, non-volatile device. Alright. So non-volatile maksudnya hard disk example. Even though kita turn off computer, the information still there. Masih di situ. We can retrieve the information anytime. Ia berbeza dengan RAM. Sebab RAM adalah bersifat volatile. Maksudnya tak kekal. Uh, non volatile bermaksud kekal dan berada di situ even though kita turn off computer. Alright. There is two things yang you kena tahu. Alright. Volatility. Atau maksud sama ada dia kekal ataupun tidak kekal. Alright. So there is volatile. Alright. Access time. Ialah the amount of time Masa yang diambil For storage device To look at an item On the storage medium Alright Bagaimana contoh kita ambil adalah How long Kita nak access data From memory How long we need Alright How many seconds How microsecond we need To access data From memory Ataupun from hard disk Ataupun from pen drive SSD Alright So there is access time Alright, so the time is required to deliver an item from memory to the processor. Alright, so there is access time masa yang diperlukan untuk hantar data ataupun access data alright, daripada memory kepada processor. Memory ini adalah beberapa kategori. It can be RAM, it can be storage device. So, kalau kita tengok gambar belah ini, alright, yang warna purple ini. Alright, so makin jauh dengan processor, makin slower in term of access time. Alright, so let's say, alright, so processor dekat mana? Processor kat on top ah. Alright, so inside processor we have another memory we call cache dan juga register. It too is very fast. Alright, outside memory, outside processor we have memory or RAM. 
RAM ini adalah is much faster compared to the hard disk ataupun the SSD. Alright ataupun flash drive. Ya. Yeah. Okay, tak apa. Alright. Okay, so uh, WhatsApp. Sekejap ni. So that is about access time So makin jauh dengan proses uh, Like for example uh, We have hard disk, SSD, USB flash Memory card and optical disk Ia makin slow in term of access time Kalau kita tengok kat sini SSD solid state drive lagi laju compared to hard disk Hard disk lagi laju compared to flash drive Flash drive lagi laju compared to memory card and optical disk So that is about hierarchy of memory Inside our computer Alright, seterusnya kita tengok adalah um, Kita tengok satu persatu What we call hard drive Hard drive ataupun sometimes we call hard disk Juga dipanggil sebagai hard disk drive Ataupun HDD Contain one or more inflexible circular patterns That use magnetic particle Alright, to store data information and information Sifat berkekal dan berada dalam komputer ia adalah uh, today for today technology we have uh, SATA ataupun IDE yang lama alright so that is part use part SATA alright then this hard disk drive ataupun hard disk ini alright uh, for today we have uh, we have gigabit and for today we have terabit uh, capacity so which which can uh, which can store a lot of information alright so but juga dikenali sebagai uh, secondary storage alright that is hard drive alright again storage capacity hard disk bergantung berbeza alright ia bergantung pada number of letters that hard disk contain whether the disk use longitudinal ataupun perpendicular recording and juga density So for today we don't worry about the storage capacity sebab most of the hard disk today atau hard drive today dia datang dengan uh, kapasiti yang besar alright dan harga pun tidak mahal alright so there is hard drive alright this is what we call tadi kita panggil apa tadi kita panggil platters right so this is how we uh, record it ataupun we place all the memory inside alright So dalam hard disk ini mengandungi platters seperti ini which is is formatting is the process of dividing the disk into tray and sector. Alright, contoh dalam PC kita boleh format, alright kita boleh groupkan kepada beberapa kategori ataupun beberapa kita panggil apa? partition. Alright, so setiap partition yang mengandungi beberapa sektor. Alright, so that is hard drive. Okey lagi, lagi hard drive we have few characteristics seperti track Alright, sector, platters from factor, real write heat, revolution per minute. So, this is the hard disk uh, characteristic. Alright, so um, again, this is the explanation about that thing. Alright, so uh, we have hard drive. Alright, a heat crash occur when a real write heat touch the surface of platter. Always keep a back of your hard disk. Alright, SSD. Alright, SSD is uh, not considered new but this one adalah yang paling latest. Okay, uh, we call solid state drive. is a flash memory storage device that contains its own processor to manage its storage. It's a new actually. Alright, and today kalau kita beli laptop or computer with SSD technology, uh, of course, uh, a bit expensive compared to IDE hard drive. Alright, di mana... Alright, solid state drive has several advantages of traditional magnetic hard disk. Pertama, of course, faster access time. Kedua ialah faster transfer rate. Alright, quiet operation. It means that baju dia tak tak jumpa. Alright, alright. It maksudnya adalah operation dia dalam bentuk uh, kita panggil petak bising lah, tak bunyi suara yang kuat, more durable, lighter weight. 
Alright? Less power consumption, less heat generation, longer life and direct, direct defragmentation is not required. Alright, so that is the advantages of having solid state drive compared to the traditional or what we call as magnetic hard disk. Alright, of course, more faster, alright, faster in terms of SS time, faster transfer rate, alright, and so on lah. Alright, and small. Alright, perasan tak, yang mana hard disk yang mengandungi uh, based on solid state drive adalah lagi small. Bila kita place inside di laptop uh, Lagi lightweight Alright Lagi lagi ringan Dan lagi uh, Especially lagi ringan lah So that is for Focusing on laptop punya uh, Kita panggil apa Karakteristik lah Because we know that We want the laptop yang lightweight So by having this SSD Kita punya laptop Lagi uh, Ringan Dan lagi senang Untuk kita bawa ke mana-mana Alright So that is hard drive Lagi we have another one we have as in the hard disk is a separate free standing storage device that connect with a cable with usb port or other port on computer or mobile devices all right that is hard drive ataupun we call as external hard disk all right all right so next adalah rad ataupun we call as redundant array of independent disk is a group to a more integrated hard disk or SSD Kita boleh groupkan Lebih daripada satu hard disk Ataupun SSD uh, Menjadi RAD And it being used dalam uh, database system Alright, that is RAID system Alright Portable flash memory storage Alright Bagi memory card Alright, memory card merupakan Removable flash memory storage That we can insert and remove From a slot in a computer Mobile device or card reader or writer Alright, there are few uh, Kita panggil apa kat sini, teknologi ke apa Kita panggil uh, variation of memory storage Alright, ataupun memory card We have SDHC, SDXC, mini SD Alright, micro SDHC dan sebagainya Alright, so that is flash memory card Alright, so this is memory card and being installed in different places Contoh kita letak dekat digital cam, kita letak dekat, dekat smartphone, kita letak dekat printer Alright, kita letak dekat tablet, laptop dan juga kat sini adalah dekat card reader Alright, so the, 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 the card is different for different devices The memory card is different Alright, so seterusnya Alright, this is pen drive ataupun kita call as USB flash drive. We, play, we used to plug in into USB port on our computer or juga on mobile device. We have flash card ataupun flash memory card ataupun USB flash drive which can plug in also in mobile device. Alright, so seterusnya we have cloud system. Alright, ataupun cloud storage which is merupakan internet service that provides storage to computer or mobile device user. For example, we have... Uh, Google Cloud alright, which is install our data alright, secara through internet and will be uh, more uh, secure alright, and easy for us to access anytime alright alright, so optical disk is something like CD consists of flat, round, portable disk made of metal, plastic and uh, this uh, material liquid that is brightened and read by a laser Alright, so this is uh, optical disc Lagi, alright, you might just need this one This is also optical disc Alright, CD-ROM can be read from but not written to There are few type of CD There are CD-ROM, kita boleh read Tetapi kita tak boleh write back Maksudnya dia hanya data yang kita hanya boleh read sahaja CD-R, which optical disc Which user can write once but not erase Alright, boleh kita write sekali je CDR tetapi tak boleh nak erase the content Maksudnya kalau kita nak burn CD, kita gunakan CDR CD read label you, maksudnya kita boleh CDR stand for read, label you stand for write Which is erasable Alright, multi session disk, we can use to burn anytime Alright, we can use to save the data anytime and then erase anytime you want Alright, so that is optical disk, CD-ROM, CDR and juga CDR label you. Alright, so next. Kalau kita tengok kat sini, alright. CD, 
DVD ROM is a high capacity optical disk on which user can read but not write or erase. Alright, DVD R only can write once. Alright, but user cannot erase. Read label you bermaksud read and write multiple times. Alright, we have another one adalah enterprise storage. Enterprise storage adalah it is enterprise hardware allow for large organization untuk manage and store data and information using device intended for heavy use, maximum efficiency and maximum ability. Contoh dah read, duplicate data, instruction and information to improve data reliability. Biasa digunakan dekat uh, company, big company, di mana dia store all the database, system dan juga server. Alright, so that is enterprise storage. Next adalah NAS ataupun network attached storage is a server that is placed on a network which the sole purpose of providing storage to user, computer and device attached network. Alright, that is NAS. Alright, kita ada, kita panggil adalah big, kita panggil storage, devices juga, which is server, place a network, alright, which attest uh, many computer. Alright, so that is NAS juga merupakan category of enterprise storage. Alright, dah, we have sun. Storage area network, high speed network with the sole purpose of providing storage to other attached server. Alright, so we have again another one adalah tape. It's a mag magnetically coated ribbon of plastic capable of storing la large info amount of data and information. Alright, so that is under enterprise storage as well. Alright, selain daripada itu, we have uh, other type of storage seperti magnetic stripe card. Alright, uh, use dalam contoh ialah like our ATM card di mana ia mempunyai chip inside yang mana uh, contain the information inside. We have smart card, store data on the integrated circuit embedded in the card. Alright, that is IC uh, which contain the data as well. Alright, so we have RFID tag, conceive and antenna. Alright, and a memory chip that contain the information to be transmitted via radio wave. Alright, so there is an example of RFID tag di mana dia mempunyai memory chip information dan mempengandungi information yang kita boleh uh, hantar to the uh, radio wave. Alright, so RFID reader read the radio signal and transfer the information to a computer or computing devices. We have another one that we call as NFC uh, ataupun NFC enable uh, device contain NFC chip. Alright, NFC tag contain chip dan juga antenna that contain information to be transmitted. Alright, so that is uh, NFC. Alright, so we have mobile wallet seperti Maybank Pay app similar to other mobile payment system like Maybank Pay use NFC and it current support. Alright, so that is inside we call as mobile wallet. Alright, so this is what we learned before. We learn about variety of storage option. Alright, kita tengok the in term of capacity dan juga access time. Characteristic of different storage device seperti hard disk, SSD, external hard disk rate. Kita tengok flash memory storage. Kita tengok perbezaan advantages of various use of cloud storage, currency of optical disk. We have CD-ROM, CD-R, CD-read W, alright, enterprise storage option dan beberapa lagi magnetic stripe card, smart card, FID, NFC, chip and tag. Uh, this all adalah merupakan uh, kita panggil type of storage, alright. Okay, so that is all about digital storage. So, Benda uh, berharapkan uh, You all faham dengan jelas Dan gunalah video recording ini Untuk repeat berulang kali Sehingga you all faham uh, Itu sahaja bermedam Selamat maju jaya dan selamat belajar Bye Assalamualaikum